What's good? What's good? What up? What up? It's Tech Taste Daily. It's your man Antoine. Your man Jay. And today we are going to have a little conversation about something that most people around here don't really care about. Um, we're in Seattle. We live in Seattle, Washington. Right. Uh, where you may have heard the Emerald City, the city of the rain. That's right. Um, where it's either raining, just finished raining, or looks like it's about to rain. Um, solar isn't really a thing here. No, it's not. I mean, I've seen a couple of houses with solar panels on them. Yeah. But unless your solar panels are also rainwater collectors, they're probably not much use here in Washington. So, um... I'm very interested in renewable energy and, and solar and things of that nature, but uh, like I have a Tesla, I, I charge my car in, in the garage. Um, but here in Washington, because of all that rain, we have really cheap electricity because of hydropower. Right. So most of our power comes from dams, and there's a, a nuclear power plant out there. But most of our power comes from the dams, and the dams keep flowing. Because the rain keeps going. Damn, dams. Damn, Gina. <laughs> uh, so we don't really have an issue with high costs for power. Which, by the way, uh, uh, Bitcoin miners, this is the place to be. Uh, you can get, you can actually get spaces that have free electricity included in the rent and throw your Bitcoin miners in there. I've actually been thinking about doing that, but that's a, that's another story for another video. But um, so. Solar isn't really a, a big thing here, but if you've got an electric vehicle, then you're sucking up some electricity. So if you want to really do your part and be greener than green, uh, then you might want to consider solar or at least a power wall. At least. And and so that's what uh, what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm going to show some stuff from uh, a video that I was watching earlier this morning by a channel that I follow and subscribe to, uh, Two Bit Da Vinci. Okay. Great channel. Go so go out and subscribe to him as well. But uh, he did a video talking about um, if the power wall would make any difference for you if you had solar. Okay. Hold up. Wait. What's up? What is a power wall? I, I, I okay, have so yeah, no let's context back up for that. That's, that's, so you, you, I'm sure you all know what solar panels are. So I won't, I won't revisit that. But a power wall is basically a battery backup. Okay. So uh, you, you may have seen. Or maybe you even have one, uh, uh, a UPS, like uh, an uninterruptible power supply. It's a battery that you plug your computer into if you have a server or something. You plug your computer into. So if the power goes out, your computer doesn't just die and you don't lose everything. The hard drive doesn't crash. Okay. You know, the power goes out. The 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 battery sends a message to your computer that says, "Hey, we don't have any power. You got about 15 minutes before this battery runs out. Shut yourself down gracefully. Save all your files." Right. Right. So that's what a UPS is, and basically, a power wall is a giant UPS for your house. Huh. Or uh, another way of looking at it is it's a, a generator. I was gonna say it's like a you generator know, except for okay. in Washington here, especially where, where I'm at out here in Kenmore, the Bothell area. Um, back in the day when it snowed, not back in the day, even still to this day, when it snows or there's a big storm, and trees fall down, they knock out the power lines. Yeah. And up here at the top of the hill, we could be out of electricity for a day or two. Yep. Right. So if you don't have a generator, then you don't have power. You, you're not opening the fridge, opening all your food doesn't go bad, yep. and sitting close to the fireplace trying to, you know, stay warm and shit. Yep. Um, so, so a lot of people have generators, but a power wall serves that same purpose. Uh, although the power wall, one power wall could probably only run your house for about 24 hours. Oh, uh, okay. So, but you can get two power, wall, power walls, you get three power walls. Oh. And if you have power wall in conjunction with solar, which is kind of what we're talking about here in this video, then you, you get, get solar during the day that charges up your battery and uh -huh. runs your house. And then at night when the sun's not shining anymore, you run off of the battery. And then the next day the sun comes out again, charges up the battery and runs your house. And then the sun goes down, you run off the battery. I like it. So that all sounds fine and good. Theoretically, it sounds cool. Sounds beautiful. Yeah. Uh, sounds like the land of flying reindeer and unicorns to me and angels singing and whatnot. But uh, the reality is, 
in, in Seattle, Seattle, I don't think we get, we get enough sun really to be able to charge the battery all the way up in a single day. Now, I'm not sure about that. I'll, I'll have to look into it more and, and crunch some numbers. But um, my man over here at uh, Two Bent Da Vinci um, says that for him, where he's at, I forget where he is, um, his power wall, because he has um, different rates for power, like, like at, during, during peak periods, periods he pays more. more. Right. During off-peak peak periods, he pays less. And I think we have that here in Washington, too. Yep. But, but the, the rates, rates are so low at, at both times, it's not really that big a deal. But, but that's, that's where the power wall comes in and, and pays for itself. You have significantly higher rates. But, you know, I'll just let him explain. Okay. That's when everybody is using electricity. So if that were the case, your panels made you electricity at the lower price, and then they've kind of gone away because the sun's gone down during the peak time when you're paying a higher amount. If this is you, a power wall could help. What the power wall could do is charge the battery instead of exporting to the grid, especially if the grid is not giving you much credit for it. So now so, any extra solar that you have, you would power your house and then charge your battery. And hmm. once the- You see where he's at, there's sun. Right. He's by the beach. Yep. The sky's nice and clear yeah. and blue. So solar panels are awesome for him. Right battery is full, you're going to have less exported to the grid because instead of getting credit for exporting it, you're storing it. So during the time your sun is shining, you're actually making less money. But then the power wall is fully charged and able to power your house 13.5 kilowatts worth at cool the peak effect. period. Yeah, it was. I like that. Save some money. So now let's jump back to that. the spreadsheet and look at what that can mean in terms of savings. All right, we don't need to see so your whole spreadsheet. So here again, we'll reset <laughs> back to my... So, so the, the, the idea, idea here is that without a battery to, right. to store all the solar power that you gather during the day, and again, probably not a big deal here in Washington because I don't think we have excess solar. That's why people in the 206 ain't giving a, ah. Right? So this is not for our friends in the neighborhood here. These, right. This is for our friends down south, yeah. our, the Owens and the Duanes of the world that live where there's sunshine and solar might be useful for you. But um, uh, with the battery backup, because as you saw on that, that chart that he was just showing, the, uh, the solar is only working like from, uh, what is it, like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. Now you can see on the little graph over here, from 8 a.m. we start getting solar, uh, and then at 4 p.m. it stops. Right. So that's really the off-peak hours you can see here. So that's the time that electricity is cheap anyway. So who cares if you're getting solar? You're going to be using cheap electricity. So your goal there is to take all that, that free electricity that you're getting from the solar and pump that into your battery. Gotcha. The Tesla power wall over here. Okay. So... Once, once your, once your uh, battery, battery is all full, then when, when it becomes, becomes peak time, time again, again, as you can see in the chart here, here usually, usually, well, not during COVID. COVID. I guess during COVID, COVID this is all peak time because we're all at home right. using power. Right. Right. But normally, you'd be at work. And then you come home from work, 5 o'clock or whatever, now all of a sudden it's peak time. <laughs> so your solar panels didn't do you any good whatsoever during the day because nobody was home using power. You're, you're at work anyway. So all that free energy just went back to the grid. So you're basically doing the grid a favor by getting these solar panels. You're not really doing yourself any good unless you have batteries. So if you have batteries, then during the day you collect all that free energy, you put it into the battery, and once all that free energy is into the battery, when you come home at 5 o'clock, then you suck all that free energy back out of the battery, and you don't pay those higher fees. Now, I'll have to check and see what the higher fees are here, but the diff it's the difference between the higher fee and the regular off-peak fee that determines if your power wall is going to pay for itself or not. Gotcha. So when you say your bill might be so low, you're not referring to a movie Space Cowboy from Star Wars. <laughs> should have been the one. <laughs> anyway, like I said, not not for our, our, our friends here in Washington. State. Northwest, maybe not so relevant, but you know, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, etc. Nevada, California. Oh yeah, any place where you have sun. Yeah. Um, they, they need to actually. You know what? I I do remember a while back reading something about solar panels that also generated electricity 
from rain somehow. Well, bring we need, it on. We need those. That's what that's we, what we need. need. Come on. We need the rain panels. <laughs> for real. For real, for real. Anyway, that, that's... that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> solar panels <laughs> and power walls. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, on Tech Taste Daily. Gio. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you like what you see and you see what you like, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace in the space. Peace. Peace. See you later. Easy. Tech Taste Daily. <laughs>